Hi everyone, this is Jake from My Living World's Ants. Today's video is 15 facts about the pavement ant, Tetramorium C. spitting. I hope you all enjoy this video. Welcome to the My Living World's Ants channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Fact 1. The pavement ant was studied in space. In 2014, astronauts in orbit and scientists on the ground studied the behaviour of pavement ants in microgravity and earth gravity. They tested the ants' teamwork to search new areas, and even with the ants falling off the walls of their containers every 8 seconds, they still managed to collaborate very well. Fact 2. Pavement ants are commonly found under stone slabs and walkways. The pavement ant is commonly found in urban areas such as sidewalks, concrete slabs, bricks and logs, as well as finding their way into homes. These soil nesting ants tend to nest through cracks or gaps in pavements, creating piles of soil on the surface of the nest from tunnels. Fact 3. The pavement ant's true name is Tetramorium cispitum. The pavement ant's Latin name is Tetramorium cispitum. There are many other Tetramorium species which are also known as pavement ants, which can be found in similar conditions. Fact 4. This species is known as the sugar ant in parts of North America. Tetramorium species are known to really like their sugar sources and therefore have been given the nickname sugar ants, not to be confused with the Australian Campanota species, the banded sugar ant. Fact 5. Pavement ants are native to Europe, but have been introduced to North America. Tetramorium cispitum is native to Europe, but has been introduced as an invasive species in North America, becoming very common. Having adapted to urban environments and human food sources, this ant has learned to use our habitat to survive. Fact 6. Tetramorium cispitum sting is not strong enough to pierce human skin. This species does have a stinger to defend itself from other ants and insects, but the stinger is not strong enough to break through human skin. Because of this, this species would not be seen as dangerous, and if keeping this species, they would be very easy to keep. Fact 7. The workers of this species range between 2.5 to 5 mm. The workers are small and will range from 2.5 to 5 mm, whilst the queen will range from 7 to 9 mm. Fact 8. This species is monogene, a single queen. Pavement ants and other tetramorium species usually only have one queen, which will raise its colony. In rare cases, this species might be polygene, meaning there could be more than one queen, but usually this will result in one of the queens being killed off by the workers. Fact 9. This ant has a parasitic ant. The species Tetramorium cispit is a host of a parasitic ant known as Tetramorium inquilinum. The parasitic ant spends its life clinging onto the sea spit on workers, and more commonly on the queens. The parasitic species lacks a worker caste, and the queens and males will depend upon the care of the pavement ants. This is also known as the ultimate parasitic ant. Fact 10. Pavement ants sometimes invade homes for food. This species is well known for invading buildings to find food. Pavement ants will eat almost anything ranging from meats to dead insects, as well as many other sugary foods. Having adapted to modern habitats, the pavement ant has also learned to found their nests near permanent food sources. Unlike other species of ants, they have become very urbanised, and once a food source is found within buildings or houses, they will establish a trail to the food. Fact 11. Pavement ants ventilate their nests. In summer, when the weather gets very hot, these ants will dig further down and create piles of soil or sand above the surface of the pavements. They will dig tunnels between gaps in concrete and stone to create ventilation, leaving piles of soil or sand on the surface of their nests. Fact 12. They will seek out new territory. This species will attempt to conquer new territory, and even invade other enemy nests. This results in large sidewalk battles, often leaving thousands of ants dead. This is very impressive considering the small size of this species. Fact 13. The average colony will reach between 3,000 to 10,000 individuals. This species rarely exceeds 50,000 in the wild, but well-established colonies will easily reach a few thousand, creating large trails when foraging. Their nests reach a depth of around 60 to 90 centimeters deep. Fact 14. This species will hibernate throughout winter. Tetramorium sea spitten will hibernate throughout the winter months, from October to March. This species, like nearly all ants, go dormant for many months. If keeping this species, be sure to place them somewhere cooler than the house during winter as central heating will just keep them active much longer than they need to be. It's recommended to keep them between 8 to 10 degrees. Fact 15. Worker ants of this species have a long lifespan. According to the Animal Diversity Web by the University of Michigan, 
Zoology Museum, a single individual worker can live for up to five years. Finding sources for this were very hard, as most species live less than a year, and some even for just a few months. I hope you all liked this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Both Tetramorium sea spittum and Tetramorium semulae are available in my shop. Coming up in next week's video, 15 facts about Lassius flavus, the common yellow meadow ant. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you guys in next week's video.